Delighted to meet you. Adding warmth to your English greetings. Hello there. It's a pleasure to connect with you again. Today, we will be focusing on an important phrase often used when meeting someone for the first time in English. Delighted to meet you. This phrase is a warm and friendly expression that can make the people you meet feel welcome and appreciated. When you say you're delighted to meet someone, you're expressing more than just the fact that you're meeting them. You're saying that meeting them brings you delight or pleasure. It's a very polite, formal, and warm way of acknowledging someone's presence, especially if it's the first time you're meeting them. You would typically use the phrase, delighted to meet you, in more formal settings or when you want to show a high level of respect and appreciation for the other person. For example, if you're meeting a new client, a senior official, or an esteemed guest, this is a perfect phrase to use. This phrase can be used in several different ways in English. Here are some examples. When introduced to someone, delighted to meet you, Mr. Johnson. After hearing someone's name, so, you're the famous artist, delighted to meet you, in a letter or email, I've heard so much about your work, and I'm delighted to meet you through this correspondence. Remember, the aim is to convey a sense of pleasure and warmth in your greeting. If delighted to meet you feels a bit too formal for the occasion, don't worry. There are several other ways to express the same sentiment in English. Here are a few examples. Pleased to meet you. Happy to meet you. Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you. All these phrases are similar in meaning and can be used interchangeably based on the context and the degree of formality required. And there you have it. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, delighted to meet you, and how to use it effectively in your English conversations. Remember, this phrase is more than just a simple greeting. It's a way of expressing your pleasure and warmth when meeting someone. So, next time you find yourself in a formal setting or meeting someone you respect, give it a try. Thanks for tuning in, and keep practicing your English. See you in the next video.